Guy gave me this Husqvarna 128LD weed whacker to fix. I have no idea what's wrong with it. Just said it wouldn't run. So I guess the first thing I'll do is see if it will run. It's got fuel in it. Doesn't look too bad. Put the choke on. And we'll give it a couple pulls. Not doing too much there. First thing I'm going to do is check for spark. Brand new plug. Wow. Close to it. Let's see if we have spark. Now you've got to touch this to metal to see if you got spark. And I won't be able to see if I stick that in there, so just rest that on there. Put that on there and we'll see if we have some spark. Just need to touch the base of the plug and look for spark there. I don't know if you can see that, but there is spark. So we'll move on to fuel. See if our problem's a fuel problem. Take the filter cover off. Filter doesn't look too bad. Could use a little cleaning. Choke works. Well, let's check the fuel. I like to look at the color. Just pull this cap off. The color doesn't look bad, it's kind of a greenish color, but oops! I see a fuel line end in there. Let me get a hemostat and see what we got going on. Oh! Look at that fuel line. Mercy! Just crumbles. Wow. All right, well maybe that's why we're not getting any fuel. So we'll have to pull the carburetor off and change the fuel lines. That's really stuck on there. I assume the gaskets just melded on there. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to dump the fuel out of the tank and then work on getting the carburetor off so we can change the fuel lines. See if we can get this carburetor to pop off. There we go. Now, I don't want to mess up the gasket behind it. Probably all stuck to it. Pull the throttle. There we go. I can get that fuel line off, I mean the throttle cable off. There we go. Now, let's pull this off.
There we go. Look at this fuel line. This crumbles. And I'll pull the fuel supply line out. What's left of it? It's all hard and crumbly. Cut the fuel line at a 45 degree angle so I can feed it in. There we go. I get my hemostat and pull from the other end here. Love my hemostats. And I like a little extra just in case I come up a little short on this end. Cut off my angle there. There we go. And we'll put our new fuel filter on. There we go. Drop that in and it fell right to the bottom. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this line. There we go. And now we need our primer bulb line and that just stubs into the tank. It just brings it through the carburetor and flushes it back in the tank. So that only needs to be that long. And I'm going to cut my angle so I can get this in. There we go. And you noticed I did the back one first so I could get my hemostat in there and grab that. And now I can do the front one and do the same thing. Still be able to grab it. There, you can see it pulling through. Beautiful. There we go. Nice. Uh, we can put our throttle cable back on. I'm going to pull this around so I can get the slack I need to push this in. And just tilt that in. There we go. Beautiful. Now, here's the adjustment screws, the high and low for the carburetor. And I've got a tool kit that has all the different tips for adjusting these. And that one's pretty big. So I'm going to guess it's this one here. And it is. So we'll go ahead and adjust that, assuming we get it started, which I am assuming we will. These come in real handy and the whole kit was about 15 bucks online. Now we'll put our cover back on so we can tighten the carburetor back up. There we go. Slides right on. Just got to put the two little nuts on. I like to close the carburetor so that uh, I don't drop a nut down in there. I want to cross thread these so I turn it left until I hear a click and then turn it back right. Here's the other one. Turn it left. Click. Now I know I got it threading right. Snug this down.
Good. Throw our filter back in. We'll fuel it up with good, fresh, clean fuel. Two cycle, you never, never, never want to run straight gas in these. If you do, you're going to burn up the piston and the cylinder wall. The engine will be ruined. Let's go out and give it a try. Now we'll check our primer bulb. It's filling up, and I can see the fuel line is priming through. Let's go ahead and put the choke on and see if it'll run. And it's run, not running that bad, but I'm going to go ahead and take our carburetor adjustment tool, adjust the low side first, and then the high side. Oh. Uh -huh.